pipe in, roll down the window. We'll find us some good country radio. Drive down a dirt road till it ends. Clayton, how are you? I'm feeling real good right now. Good. I'm glad to have you on. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yes, and uh, today we're going to talk about you and your artistry and some great things that you have coming up. Mm -hmm. So, my first question for you today is, when did you know you wanted to perform full time? And what led you to that decision? Uh, the first time I thought, you know, I wanted to give music a go, uh, being full time, is when we got to open up for Kenny Chesney in 2008. It was that, man, this is awesome. I would love to get back to this level. Um, so I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna burn my ships and I'm gonna go do it. Yeah. So. Because uh, you won Kenny Chesney's. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called Next Big Star. Yes. And that was in 2008. We got to open up for him in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Wow. And uh, it was a great experience, and it really kind of kick-started us uh, off in the Midwest of, hey, you know, these guys are, are cool and legit. They just opened up for Kenny Chesney, and so that, that, was, that was pretty much it. Great. And, you know, learning so much about you, I know that you are a successful athlete. Have you always loved music through being an athlete? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, was, I loved basketball, playing basketball growing up. I was probably the best warm-up shooter in the history of Bedford and Horse High School. But uh, no, I've always loved music. It's it's always been around. Uh, my mom uh, has always listened to music. My dad had had music going on, different types mm -hmm. of music. You know, they had different tastes, but uh, I mean, even my grandma, you know, she'd be rocking out Conway Twitty. Oh yeah, so it's, my it grandma was always, too. <laughs> always around. And my cousin, he was a great guitar player and great singer. He was he was an amazing singer. So it was, uh, it was just always, yeah, it's, it's always been around us. Who would you say, I mean, I know it's hard to pick, and you may not even be able to pick, but who would you say had the most influence on your music, your mom or your dad? Um, man, it, it would kind of be a toss-up. Well, my mom would sing all the time. You know, she'd be cleaning the house. She'd be singing. She'd have Elvis records on and, and, and uh, Grease soundtrack going on. It's a good soundtrack. But then my dad had all these Kiss records, and I was so enamored with the face paint. And the craziness of their show, the pictures, and, and I'm talking about albums. They were these were albums, so it was uh, it, uh, it it was oh, vinyl man, records. It'd be, a, it'd be a toss up. Maybe maybe my mom because she would just always be singing. She was always we would make up songs in the car. So yeah, so that would be a big help. Yeah, and uh, I know you're a big fan of John Mellencamp. Oh yeah, huge. But who did you want to be like? Ah, <sighs> honestly, I think. Uh, you know, when you, at, at a certain point, uh, you look at somebody and you say, man, I'd really like to be like that guy. It would be, you know, Garth Brooks, you know, when that Central Park show went on, I'm like, wow, now that's something. That's something that I'd like to be. He's such a good guy, so good to his fans. I mean, you mm -hmm. never hear a bad word about yeah. Garth Brooks. And. How did your first time performing go? You know, loving music and then you perform your first time. Did it go well or did oh, it go bad? Yeah. It was awful. It was so bad. The first, so the first time I actually ever played, you know, we would play some music on the couch and stuff at, at our apartment in college. But uh, the first time that I legitly got to play, uh, I snuck up. Well, this guy canceled at, at our hometown bar on the last minute. He got sick, so we filled in and. I was their last call. You know, they called everybody and there was no, I mean, my cousin was married to the uncle of the bar of this, you know, how small towns are, everybody's related. Yeah. So, so we show up and uh, we played, I played the same 10 songs over and over and over and I was so nervous at the beginning and uh, then they kept feeding me shots and then I got less nervous but sounded <laughs> Less good as it as You're the night, a great as time. night progresses. I'm like, yeah, it's, oh my gosh, I'm a rock star. But yeah, I'll never forget yeah, it though. It was so much funny. fun. It was, uh, it was scary as crap, but it was a lot of fun. Ingrained in your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, so you found your love, you performed. When did you decide to move to Nashville and did you think you were ready? Uh, I kind of took it slow coming to Nashville after the Kenny Chesney thing. Uh, we came down and and I had my manila envelopes and I went around and passed them out. No soliciting really means no soliciting. <laughs> and uh, so we, uh, we tried it. That I would just I decided, hey, I'm gonna go back home to the Midwest, pl play around there. Then we went to the Southeast. 
And uh, it wasn't until I met this girl named Meg Logan, yeah. who, who mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. She said, hey, my sister's playing music in Nashville. You should go meet this lady. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't know a single person in the town. And, and so uh, I met Mama Sue. And, Love Mama Sue. Yeah, and she, uh, she, saved my, she saved me from making a lot, a lot of bad mistakes in, in this town, in, in Nashville. So She's been in the industry so long. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was really, really cool um, to have that connection to, mm -hmm. ha to, to have, him looking, have her looking over us, you know, and, and what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I, then I kind of just would come in and visit out of town, but I've been living here for four years now. And I wish I would have moved sooner, but yeah, it, it's, it, it, it is what it is. Well, you're hardly ever here because you're always yeah. traveling. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, we're in a hotel for four days and here three, so yeah. Well, and so, you know, you took that big step and you met Mama Sue. And when you moved to Nashville, who were some of the first singer and songwriters that you met? Uh, it was really cool because I met a guy from Indiana when we first moved here, uh, Brian Cole, and we got together and he had, he had done some stuff for Luke Bryan and, and was working on uh, mixing a project for Jared Neiman, which I got to meet mm -hmm. him. And I thought that was really neat because that was right before his first big, that Lover Lover song yes, came out. Yes, that's a great song. So it's kind of neat feeling like, oh man, we're kind of behind the scenes before it comes out. But uh, yeah, Jared was one of the guys I, I first met when I was in town. Um, Cole Swindell, which I'd known him from uh, playing a couple shows with Luke when he was Luke's Good guy. merch guy and, and knowing some other guys that I met from Georgia. So I knew him and uh, we'd, uh, you know, you just kind of hang around and you meet more people and you, you keep writing and, and networking and yeah. your your circle starts to grow because you know a lot of people here yeah. <laughs> you do so come on girl turn it up blow them speakers right out of my truck oh I can't get enough I can spend all night grooving to your sweet Carolina Southern draw like an old Don Williams song I lean back and listen to it your love is like